you know, I tested this earlier to make sure it was going to work. And it sure did work earlier. And now it's not working. Well, hello, everybody. Let me get you up over here so I can see your comments because my iPad is not working again. Even though I tested it because I don't like to not be prepared, right? Because then I just look silly. Okay, so first of all, let me say, apparently y'all like um, fun fold cards. Because my fun fold card from yesterday has 750 views on um, YouTube and I don't even know what to think about that. So, can y'all hear me? I see that there's a couple of you out there, but I'm trying to... Can you write some comments? Maybe I can see them on my computer. I don't know what's going on with this iPad. I really did. I have a private group that only has me in it, and I tested it, and it sure worked, but it is not working right now. So, okay. Anyway, here we go. This is what we're going to make. We're going to blend this circle. Then we're going to put some dots on there. Can you see the bokeh dots, the white dots on there? We're going to put some of them on there. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey, Beth. Hi, Leticia. Well, I just got started, Leslie. You're not too late. Um, so this is what we're going to make, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how Sandra does it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? So um, I have my um, white piece of cardstock here, and I have a template for this oval, Okay. So here's my template. You're going to laugh at me because it is the ugliest thing in the world. Here's my template. It is well loved. It is well used. Um, so I'm going to layer this template right on. It's the same size as my cardstock. So I'm going to layer it right on there and then I'm going to tape it down here so it doesn't move. Or at least I'm going to tape it down so I hope it doesn't move. Okay. Ooh, I kind of got I got it upside down. I'm not used to using it that direction. I'm gonna flip it over because you know I'm a creature of habit. I've been playing with it all day, so I kind of have it. I kind of have my habit. Okay, so I'm gonna use these brand new blending brushes, and oh my gosh, are they not fun? They're really soft. I'm not gonna rub it on my hand because it has ink all over it right now, but they are super super soft, and I'm gonna use. Rich Razzleberry, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, and Bumblebee. Those are my colors for today. Okay. Which I don't know if they even look like they go together, but I think they I think they turned I think it turned out okay. So um these blending brushes are really awesome. You want to start off of your page, okay? Because if you start on your page, you're going to get a really dark mark. You don't really necessarily want that. Oh yeah, these blending brushes are awesome. So you start over here, which is why my thing is so messy. And then you just go onto your paper wherever you want it. Now, can I tell you what torture is right now? I'm going to tell you all about torture. I came home from church today. And I stopped at the grocery store and I got a roast. And so right now in my kitchen, my roast is cooking in my crock pot. And oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I think that that is like the most extreme form of torture in the whole wide world. Having to smell the roast before you can actually eat it. Hey Mary! 
So next is Calypso Coral. And we're just going to lay down a little layer. And you can do it. You can use whatever colors you want. These are just the ones I picked out for today. I was kind of digging them. I knew I wanted the um, rich raspberry. The rest of them, I, I don't know, I just kind of went along with. Okay, so that's Calypso Coral. Then I have Granny Apple Green, which sounds really weird next to the Calypso Coral, but it works out. Hey, Vicki! So here's the Granny Apple Green. See the dark mark? So I can fix it. And you can fix it just by keeping on blending. But I can also fix it with the bokeh dots because I'm going to put some white ink on top of these. So if I have a really dark part, I'll just make sure I put a... Oh, it's going to work out. It's going to be fine. I'll just make sure I put a white dot over it. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to use the Bumblebee for the last layer. Let me close these up before I just make a total mess of everything. So here's my bumblebee. I really like the bumblebee color. Okay, so here's what else I do. And I don't know if I'm different because as you can see, like you have some really stark, like these are the differences in the colors. I take the bumblebee and kind of go all over it and kind of blend it all together. And it works for me. <laughs> so that's kind of the way I do that. Um, now we're gonna put the bokeh dots. See the white dots? See the white dots? Okay, before you take the template off, leave your template there. So now this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Yeah, that's right. And the template is the same exact size. And the only thing I did for the template was just cut the oval out of it. I tried to get it right in the middle. I think I did. Okay. So now I have a piece of acetate, the window sheet. And I have cut circles in it at random places. And I think I think these are all retired punches, but you can use whatever punch you have to cut the circles. So, um, and it's it's just a window sheet. So I'm going to lay this down on here. I have my craft, the Whisper White ink pad, which most of the time can be a pain. And I also have this blending brush. And I know that this is not um, Stampin' Up. I'm totally, completely aware that this is not Stampin' Up. But for this um, blending, I like it better. So just for this one. So I'm going to get some white craft ink on here. I'm going to hold this down. And I'm just going to sponge these circles just like that. That one. Okay, so we're just going to sponge these circles. And then we're going to move our template and get one of these circles into the middle. Okay, so I'm going to, you see that dark line there? I'm going to kind of move it towards the middle because I don't want that dark line of white. Okay, so now I'm going to get towards the middle and I'm going to put a circle in the middle. I'm just going to sponge that one circle right there in the middle. Dun, 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 dun. And then, and then contraband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry. 
Every once in a while you have to do it, right? Like this. Is this contraband? This is the most important tool I think I own. It does say Stampin' Up, but we do not sell it anymore. But I will not get rid of it. Okay. Wink of Stella. I'm going to splatter Wink of Stella on here. So over here on the corner, I'm going to squeeze. Oop. I squeezed a lot. So I'm just going to pick some up. And then I'm just going to go like that. Look, it's all down here in the corner. Okay. It all seems to be concentrated in one corner, but that's okay. Okay. And now very important. Very important. If you go to do another card, here's how you can do it. You can just undo this tape right here, and you can slide this right up. Look, it's perfect. And now you can make another card. But before you blend, because that's really wet, you're going to want to dry it off. And we're not going to make another card. But I'm just showing. See, you don't want that mess all over your card. Okay, so that's what you would do if you were going to make multiples like I did earlier. And here's the other thing. I'm going to let that dry. I'll dab it before we before we get before we add all the pieces on there. Okay, so I'm going to make a chicken. I love this chicken. He is from the Hay Birthday Chick stamp set. And so we're going to stamp him on here, color him and then cut him out. So, I don't know what time my roast is going to get done. I probably cook them entirely too long, but you know, you don't want to take a roast out of the crock pot and have it not be done. That would be bad. How long does it take to cook a roast in a crock pot? Does anybody know? Okay, so there's my chicken. We're going to color him with some blends. We're going to make the balloon be rich razzleberry. So we'll start with it. Um, did everybody get up and go to church? Today is a beautiful day in Georgia. I don't know how, it's probably not all that warm outside, but it's beautiful. Sun shining. Tuxedo black. That's a memento. Our memento is tuxedo black. That's sold by Stampin' Up. We have it in the catalog, Mary. And that's the color you want to use if you're going to use blends. Um, it's a water-based ink, and these are alcohol-based, so that's how you want to do that. Mary's a new stamper. She's an awesome stamper, but she's brand new. She's made some cool cards. She's also going to be a nurse. Cook till you can't stand it. Yeah, four to six hours, depending on size. I put it in it. I guess it was afternoon, so. Maybe I'll eat it in about an hour. I'll go check it anyway. See if it falls apart. Now, because I put green in here, I wanted to use a little bit of green. I know chickens aren't green. But he's a ch silly chicken being held up by a balloon. I mean, how uh, how true to form are we going to be with this chicken? I love these chickens. I mean, they're just silly. They're just silly. So we'll get a little bit of dark. This is a daffodil delight. I like the daffodil delight. We have lots of yellow. I'm just going to color right over his nose, and then I'll come back and do it again with the, with the um, pumpkin pie. Blend in that green a little bit. Blend in this green a little bit. Then I'll get the light one and just kind of finish him off. I know. I just colored over his top knot. It'll be okay. I'll fix it. I've done this a time or two. 
I made some swap cards earlier and had to color this chicken 17 times. So I'm, I'm well versed in coloring this chicken. So we'll make his little nose orange, dark pumpkin pie. And get his little feet. Get his little feet. Okay. And then I'm, oh, let me blend this in a little bit. And then we're going to get um, the Wink of Stella and we're going to, yes ma'am, I mailed your paper. I think I mailed it on Thursday. So when we're using the other inks and we use the, um, the Wink of Stella, it'll bleed a little bit. But when you use these, it doesn't bleed at all. So that's a nice, that's a nice touch. I guess unless you want it to bleed. So here's my little chicken die. I got a piece of tape on it because it likes to move around a little bit. So it's some not so sticky tape so it doesn't rip your paper. I like not so sticky tape. I mean, you know, most of the time you want super sticky tape if you're gonna actually tape something down, but. Okay, and he goes right in this little mini machine that is so adorable and so convenient. It's right here on the desk. I don't have to move anything. Ta-da! There's a chicken. That goes away and I haven't broken my back. Okay. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. I'm going to use the little ones all over him. I am going to um, stamp the sentiment in the rich razzleberry. And then I have a rich razzleberry card base. Just to make it all be color coordinated. Because we like color coordination. Hi, Linda. So he's going to go here. And then I have this ink. And we're going to put it. Do y'all ever do this? I put things at an angle so it doesn't have to be straight. Because goodness knows, sometimes I can't get a sentiment straight. So if you put it intentionally at an angle, it's fine. Um, I'm going to wrap some of the twine, the white twine around it. This comes, this is in the January to June mini catalog. And I, it's in the snail dip bundle. But it comes with, you get pink pink you get pink and white in the same package I'm really glad that we have white Baker's twine again I just I love it okay so here's here's my trick with this I tie it a little bit tighter than it needs to be and I tie a knot first with Baker's twine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to fix my iPad. My iPad still won't work. I thought I had it fixed, but it's not working. Okay, so there we go. Um, with that, I tied the knot and then you can tie the bow. I tie a knot because I don't have anybody to hold the knot for me. So, I tie a knot. And then I tie my bow. Okay. And then I'm going to add this. I'm going to separate this one just a tiny bit. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Stampin' Seal, which I absolutely love. And I am going to add this 
to my rich Razzleberry card base right here. Oops, not quite straight. There we go. Okay, and then I'll fold this and burnish it with my bone folder. And there you have it. So blending brushes, white craft dots with the uh, Whisper White Craft ink, and a chicken colored with blends. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> so, oh wait, I'm not done yet. We have these Artistry Blooms sequins because every card needs a little bit of bling. And they're just going to go on here in random places. Just like that. Okay. I know that's a mess, isn't it? Okay. There you go. There's my card for today. I love this chicken stamp, stamp set. And this one is available right now for everybody, the Hey Birthday Chick. It's in the uh, January to June mini catalog. Everybody can buy it. Okay. So there you go. That's all I've got for today. Um, I will uh, post the video so you can watch it later if you need to. And I will also post it on YouTube. So you can find me on YouTube if you haven't already and go back and watch all of my videos. Okay. So thanks so much for hanging out with me a little bit on this Sunday. And I'm going to go see if my roast is done because <laughs> I can't wait. So thanks for hanging out with me.